right, I hope you guys enjoy the meal and please uh, smash the like button and don't forget like button but all right guys i hope you really enjoy the meal don't forget to, to smash the like button all right <laughs> tony are you ready yes subscribe to how, how to, to have fun, fun outdoors, outdoors. We've got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, it's a taste test. That's right, rainbow trout versus landlocked salmon. We've caught both, we caught even the same size fish, and we're gonna fry them up and compare them side by side and tell you which one tastes better. Sit back and enjoy, subscribe, hit the like button, and here you go. Okay, here we are with the leche, and uh, as you know, we've caught the landlocked salmon, and we've caught the rainbow trout, and this video is all about catching, cleaning, and cooking. So leche is going to show us how we're going to cook these. Let's start with the fish themselves. So we're doing a cook-off here, and to make everything equal, we've got a 10-inch landlocked salmon that we caught today along with a 10 inch rainbow. We have all kinds of different sizes of rainbows and you saw the bigger uh, landlocked salmon, but what we wanted to do was have this be equal on a size perspective also to make sure we get a fair comparison. There are some people just like the gentleman today who love small trout oh, under yeah, 12. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, under, he was talking about five inch. So. <laughs> I know, <laughs> and a lot of people like the little brookies, the little rainbows, just like my father, he likes the small ones. Uh, but la the, these landlocked salmon are truly as known as the king of fish. They are incredible. We already ate the large one and it was very outstanding. Good. Very good. <laughs> Very good. So this is gonna be quite the challenge. And uh, once again, the landlocked salmon versus the rainbow trout. So let's get started. And Aliche, if you could, tell us what you got here and what you're gonna to use to cook these fish with. Well, first of all, I wanted to taste the fish the most that I can. So the cook is gonna be extremely simple. Um, I have like here some spicy, I'm probably just gonna use some parsley and some pepper. That's it, in addition to olive oil, extra burnt in olive oil to make sure. Yeah. And then I'm gonna slice a little bit of uh, orange. Yeah. I'm gonna put the slices of orange inside of the fish. Okay. And then probably like a one slice on top. And, um, the, and then I'm gonna bake them. Bake them for, I think we, because they are kind of small size, 15, maximum 20 minutes up for uh, uh, 425, 430 Fahrenheit, and they will be extremely good. As a um, aside, uh, luckily we finished the fresh potatoes, uh, so we are going to use the dice uh, new potatoes. These are good. They are my husband's favorite from his childhood. <laughs> so I'm gonna use them with um, uh, a little bit of uh, onion and uh, I'm gonna use the Chicago with uh, uh, rosemary on top. With a little rosemary. Yeah. So yeah, that, those, those are the way we made potatoes in the old days and we're up north at a cabin so we don't have all the fancy cookware that uh, we would have at home but uh, we're trying to make the best of it but when i was a kid when we went fishing we always grabbed these diced new potatoes and did them up with the webers that's right chicago steak seasoning and it's actually awesome so i'm looking forward to do the taste test and i'm sure you are at home watching this video so once again it's the landlocked salmon not the atlantic salmon this comes out of fresh water in Maine versus the New Hampshire rainbow, both 10 inches. And let's get these things cooked up and let's see what Aliche likes the best out of these two awesome fish. Well, I can tell you, see you in 20, 25 minutes at the most at the table ready for dinner.
All right, let's do it. All right, we are gonna add some little more onion to this. And we like some long one and some dice one. Okay, so you don't have a lot of room in this particular kitchen. And what do you got over here, uh, Alice? Tell everybody what that is. <laughs> that is the mocha, and uh, is uh, obviously our best tool in the kitchen. If you want some good espresso, Italian espresso, here we have the mocha. And then later we can show you how to make it. All right, sounds good. There is no dinner without espresso. Okay, so what do we got going here? Uh, just a little saute of olive oil with uh, onion, just to increase the taste of everything. So now we are going to open the potatoes and just add them directly to the pan. Okay. So here we have the can opener very quickly. All right. Okay. Uh, after a couple of minutes, um, we can add the potatoes. Right. And we are gonna just mix everything together. Let's like Alice said, this is old school. We used to do this all the time when I was a kid. Uh, yeah. Every fishing trip, my uncle, my dad, my grandfather would always throw out the chopped up canned potatoes, diced new potatoes from I Del can, Monte. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly like old stuff for my husband. At home, we use the real potatoes <laughs> what i call the real potatoes <laughs> but uh, for fishing purposes uh, this is all memory of my husband from his childhood so we are trying to make it as real as possible okay so now we are gonna let them stay for a while i just uh, turned down the temperature down around six so it's not going too fast and all right, we can turn the temperature down from seven to six or five and a half. Okay. So the, the potatoes, they can cook slowly and uh, um, not too fast. And at this point, I will add some uh, Chicago steak uh, seasoning. Okay. This is uh, like a, a lower sodium than ever, so it's kind of good. And um, we just uh, give a quick sprinkle. Remember, we are going to add the pepper on it. Uh, rosemary, sorry. Rosemary on it, so... This is just the beginning. All right, onions and potatoes, you gotta like it. Cooked yes. in olive oil. Okay, what's up next? All right, we start the cutting the orange. First of all, these orange look like this, not because I buy it, but um, yesterday I made a crostata, that is an Italian dessert, for Mom's Day, so Mother's Day, so I actually made it with the mom letter on it. Okay. And in the dough, I actually added some um, um, orange skin that made the taste uh, look better. Okay. So we are going to use these orange. So how do you say orange in Italian? Um, arancia. Okay. Arancia. Arancia? Yeah. Arancia. Yeah. Arancia. So everybody at home, that is a arancia. 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 So we are going to cut. Right, how do you say trout? Trota. Trota. And the salmon is a salmone. Salmone. Wow, today we did the three words of the day. Okay, three words of the day. So everybody needs to learn those. Say those three one more time so people can learn. They can subscribe and learn another language. <laughs> so what's the three again? All right. Um, arancia for orange. Yeah. Trota for uh, trout. And uh, salmone for salmon. All right, very good. Next time you go to that Italian restaurant, you can tell the waiter, Salmone. Yep, Salmone. Salmone. Sounds like a song. Salmone, Salmone. All right, very good. Bravo. So now I'm using this. I like it a lot. It's just a spray of extra virgin olive oil. Allow the food to not stick to the pan. And uh, it's just a very quick spray on it. And you're good to go. All right, very good. So I'm starting with this. I'm probably going to do all of them one by one on this pan. Wow, some nice rainbows, huh? Yeah, they look all amazing. So, and they are so nice and fresh. Wow, look at all the rainbow really trout. Good. Look at those are beautiful. All, all right, right, very so good. So now I'm going to take uh, these slices and just put inside of their belly. like this 
trying to choose the correct size for each one of them. All right, very good. Okay. I'm gonna do the same for this pan. Okay. Nice. And I'm gonna put again our salmone and our trota. Salmone and trota. So one slice in this one, and one slice in this one. The taste is gonna be awesome. Okay, all right, at this point we just add Okay, next. We just add a very little olive oil on it. Okay. Okay, one second. I need to use... Okay, now you've added the orange on the belly and on top. Now a little bit of pepper. Yep, that's it. All right, fresh pepper. I'm gonna add some of this. What do you got there? Cold? Oh, this is just parsley. Parsley, okay. Okay. Nice. And this one are ready to go in the oven. Okay, that's it, huh? That's that's, that's all that you got all on there. All you have to do. Wow. We keep the taste as simple as possible. Okay. Ooh, this is too, way too much. I'm gonna share with other fishes. So I'm using the oranges because uh, uh, last time we did the lemon. So uh, I I actually like both, and I try to mix it up, but. It's up to you. If you like lemon, you can do lemon. Um, if you like orange, you can do orange, or you can do like me, okay. once and once. So, looks good. really nice. But this is the ultimate test. Okay, so they look fantastic, all seasoned up, ready to go. And uh, you can buy rainbow trout at the grocery store. Um, I doubt if you'll ever find wild landlocked salmon, though. <laughs> And they're not easy to catch, right? No, uh, definitely no. <laughs> check out our video on how to catch landlocked salmon in Maine, and you'll see how difficult it is. And for this one, uh, it was a challenge, and this basically took us all day just to get this little guy to match up with the trout. So yep. <laughs> there, was a little, there was more planning in this video than people realize. We had to catch a dozen rainbow just to make sure we had every size for whatever landlock we caught to uh, match it up and luckily we got the two 10 inchers which was perfect because that's the perfect taste test yeah we are um, we are very excited so now that everything is uh, on plates we can um, put in the oven as i told you the oven needs to be up for 25 430 and um, for 15 maximum 20 minutes i i think around the 15 it will be fine okay let's do it let's do it in the meanwhile, the potatoes are going very well. All right, looks great. One well on done. And the potatoes are cooking up really nice. And like Aliche said, uh, I grew up with these type of potatoes at campgrounds, fishing trips. And uh, to me, it's just part of the uh, cuisine that I'm used to when it comes to uh, wild fish. All right, we give them a mix. Okay, we got one final step. Yeah, just a little bit of rosemary for little the last rosemary. Step. Wow, they look great, all browned up, just the way you like them. So they actually cook for about 20, 25 minutes. It's actually in the Long. pan, yeah, five to ten minutes longer than what the oven's got. Yeah, and we're only one minute away from the taste off the rainbow trout versus the landlocked salmon. Yep. Uh, here. All right, here the fish is ready just like that. 15 minutes and done. And wow, look how beautiful these look. Wow, it looks amazing, Aliche. Great job. Once again, you're just a magician when it comes to cooking fish and all kinds of great food. We're going to have to do more of this. Uh, catch clean and cook type videos of the different fish we catch so everybody at home can uh, get to experience this. Yep, and uh, to make the dinner perfect, I actually got a bottle of Chardonnay. Uh, we opened it yesterday, so I think it's the perfect fit to end this dinner. 
Uh, uh, a little of a glass of the white wine is always great with fish. All right, so let's go ahead and move forward with the challenge. We'll split these two in half, and we're going to try them, and we're going to tell you what we think tastes better, the landlocked salmon or the rainbow. So please subscribe. Give us a like on the like button. Smash that like button, right? Yeah, and if you want, come to visit. I'm going to cook for you. <laughs> All right, and uh, share the videos with others so we get the channel going. And we'll do more of these fun uh, videos for you from Maine and New Hampshire. That's where these came from. The landlocked salmon from Maine, the rainbow from New Hampshire. Okay, we've divided them up. And let's get started with the taste test. Tell us which one you like better. Let me try it first. All right, go for it. So on the right, we've got the rainbow trout. All right, here is the color of the meat. Really nice. It just melts in your mouth. Okay. And um, here is the color of uh, the salmon. Wow, look at that meat, it's almost perfection. Mm -hmm. That's good. So what do you think? I don't know, I think the salmon wins. <laughs> <laughs> They're both pretty amazing, right? Yeah, they are amazing. They both melt in your mouth. They both are extremely great meat. Okay. When you look at here, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah, that is that is quite, quite gorgeous. Take a look at how nice that meat is. Yeah, but also look at the meat of the, the top. rainbow. Yeah, really nice. All right, very good. My turn. All right. All right, so Tommy, what are, do you think? Here's the test. And we're going to start. I'm going to start with the rainbow trout from New Hampshire. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty tough to beat. So these are probably two of the best freshwater tasting fish there are in, in uh, the entire world, in my opinion, for freshwater fish. Now the landlocked salmon. Wow. That is amazing. I would have to say that the rainbow on a scale 1 to 10 is a 9.75. But out of all of the freshwater fish that I've ever eaten, and the title of this fish, you can Google it, is the king of fish. The landlocked salmon is a 10. It's not only the best salmon that I've ever eaten, it's the best freshwater fish that I've ever eaten. It is amazing. I recommend you go watch our how to catch landlocked salmon video and our how to catch rainbow video trolling. And you can do this at home and enjoy great Maine landlocked salmon and New Hampshire rainbow. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoyed the meal. Don't forget to, to smash the like button. All right. <laughs> Tommy, are you ready? Yes. Subscribe to How, How to Have, have fun, fun Outdoors. outdoors.